Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Eddie is here. Eddie is in the house. All right, all right. Today, the day we want to make another necklace. And you know how I feel about necklaces. You know how I like doing them. Yes, I love it. I love doing the necklace that we're doing. I want to make sure. I do a lot of necklaces now. I do a lot of necklaces, but I want to make sure that you be able to do them too. Uh, that's why I always go over everything we're going to do, showing you what we're using and everything. Ah, uh, it's gonna, gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be a beautiful day today because we're gonna get those necklaces done this quite fast this morning. It ain't it don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna be where you'll be able to keep up with it though. Alright, first thing we're gonna do, let's let's say okay, we got our two, we got a needle nose, we got a dive, we got a split ring opener, we got a Closure right here. Uh, need a pair of fly, need a pair of snip suit uh, and a round needle nose. And this one today, we want to do the wooden, uh, what we would call wood beads necklace. Consist of completely of the wood bead necklace, and that's what what we got here. Okay. All right, let's get let's go ahead on to get started. First thing I want to do is I want to open those up, and we're gonna get a few put over here right now. Okay, that's enough for the for the moment. That's that, that's our beginning right there. Now, all right, on this one I always like using the fishing wire for our lead. Okay, so. Got me, I got the, remember, the 25 pound wire, that's what I use. I always use 25 pounds because it is the best holding for it. It is, really. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but <laughs> my people are always telling me, uh, you're forgetting something, you're forgetting something. You got your tools, yeah. Got my fishing, yeah. Got my bead, yeah. Got my findings right here, you know. I mean, my findings and everything. Um, they are they're right here, you know, and all, and uh, you know, all all the stuff I need. See, okay, what what am I missing? You know, now the key. Yep, you right there, you right there. I but I almost forgot. You can't worry anything if you don't have these. Well. For me, <laughs> I got the hammer. All right, let's get started here. <laughs> All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of, of uh, wire, our fishing net wire. And next thing, we got to get a, like, uh, we're going to get a fastener for it. I'm going to show you the kind of fastener that I put in on here. I'm going to see. You may be able to see it, you may not, but... See that little ring I got on now? Uh, it doesn't drop down a little bit. There it is. See that little ring I got on now? That's a fastener. Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to put that fastener on there. And usually when I do this, one thing I like when I do my uh, wood bead necklace, I always like on the end, it's my, it's my thing. I use a little piece of a chain on it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I use a little piece of chain on the end of it. And, okay, I got a chain here. Uh, remember what I always said, it got to be even now. It's got to be even. Uh, so, let me say, I'm going to get, I, I don't need but a little now. Don't need but a little. Uh, okay, so let's open in our chain up here. This one here. What we're doing is we're opening our chain up so we can get that little piece I want. Okay, that, that little piece I want. And remember, you got to have I have to have two of them. 
So I want to measure them out and make sure that I open the other one up and it's be the same length that one is. Let's get our chain here. Let's see if we can measure it out. See what it looks like. Yeah, look at that. Two pieces. Yep, same height. Well, the same length, that is. All right. We got a chain. Okay. Now we want to get our uh, fastener. These are the chains we're going to use right there. Let's get our fastener back on there. Okay, got our fastener back on there. Now we're going to take one of the ends and put our fishing line through the end of one of the chain. Okay, we got that. Now, we got it through the chain. Okay, okay, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> you don't believe how, how this sub is. We get away from you in a minute. Okay, you got it through the chain. Now, we're going to double that part and go back through that fastener again. Then it will look like that. Everybody see that? It's going to look like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it back. So we'll be close to the end of, of the chain with that fastener. We're going to take our clothing pliers here. And like put a little bit of the clothing. We're going to close that finding. All right. Our finding is closed there. See the X -way, X -X wire you got on there? We're going to pull it up close to that finding and cut it. We want that X -X wire off of it. All right. Now, we are ready with that in. We're ready now. The start, I wouldn't be necklace. Okay. Remember when I always said, I always use spacers between my pieces that I'm going to put on. I always use a silver spacer. Okay. First spacer is on it. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to use, all right, we're going to use this size here on the first bead. Let's see if we can get that one through. Okay, that's the first one right there. On this particular one, I am uh, always have a spacer first. And then I'll be, and then I'm gonna I'm walk them right on down the road. I'm gonna walk them right on down the road. They ain't got to be the same color when it get to the to the end, but if if you want it that way, yeah, you can do it that way. But I always try to make sure that I got a different color every time. I don't. I don't like mine to be that same color all the way out. I like it to be different color. If you wear different color clothes, uh, I always try to make sure that you're going to have something that's going to match it some way on my beads. On my necklaces, they come that good. People love them. I like for you to love them. I like for you to make sure that you can do it. And... They be just as good when you doing it than I do. I hope you just be as just as excited as I am making them. 
Oh yeah, yeah, she coming along pretty good there. She coming along pretty good there. Usually when I do a necklace, especially on the wooden neat beat wooden bead necklace, I always give myself a count. Most of the time I'm gonna put in about probably about 21 beads on it. I do 21 beads on it, it comes out with a good size. And like I said, people love them. People love them. And remember, I always want to make sure when I finish, they're going to be good and tight. Let's get some more beads in there. Try to get some more colors in here. All right. Oh, yeah. She's going to come through. She's coming through good. <laughs> It may think it's going to kind of taking along, but it ain't taking that bad. It ain't that bad. It, it's going and it's going to be going good too. I don't know. A lot of people have told me, say, how can I really get to your classes? Because at times I can't find them on the, on the internet. And I always tell them, the best way to get to it is just go to, to YouTube and then go to How to Make a Necklace by Eddie. You go that way, all my classes will pop up at one time. You'll see all of them. When you, when you get ready and you want to go to another one, uh, yeah, that time you may have to do the same thing, put it in again. But all of, all my classes is online. I, I, late, lady said, well, you got all your classes online. That's good. You know, and I'll look at, look at that. See, it's coming along pretty good. Let's, let's see how many we got on there. Okay, 13 so far. We see her going. We going. We see her going. Say. You got all your classes on there, but what are you what are you getting out of it? I'm getting what I'm getting out of it, I'm getting out the joy of making necklaces on the internet and teaching people how to make necklaces. That's my enjoyment. If some everybody up may feel different, but that's my enjoyment. I like, I love doing it that way. I love doing it that way. I want everybody to be able to say, okay, then. If I know I can do it because he's teaching a way that everyone can keep up with it too. And that's what I do. If, if, if you didn't catch something the first time, re, replay it again. Re, just replay it again. You'll see it. It's going to come in now. It's going to come in now. Just replay it again. That's what I like about That's what I like about YouTube, too, you know, and all. I love doing what I'm doing here. Like I said, I hope everybody will be loving it just the way when I finish, you know, and all. And, and hey, you, you're, you may be able to do it and you'll take off. You'll take off on it. There's a lot of people, they do a lot of things, you know, and all. Every, everything works out really great for everybody, though. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what we got here now. Okay, we want one more. I want one more. And the one more is going to take up that last end I need. All right, there it is right there. There it is right there. Okay, we got our necklace ready. Remember, we need that fastener on the end of it. Okay, got that fastener on the end. There it is on the end right there. 
Now you know that uh, that second piece of chain I had. That's what I'm going to put on here now. Got that second piece of chain on it. Okay, let's see here. All right, remember when I said, when you get through, always take that piece of wire and send it back up the other way. Now look at here. See how I'm pulling up? Pull it to the end there. Take our closures. Take our needle low closures. And let's close that. Let's close that fitting. Excess wire. The excess wire right there. Just cut it close to the end. Okay, we got that done. Now, what we need next? What we need next? You right? A split ring on the end. Okay, so we got a split ring there. We're going to put the split ring in our split ring opener. Let's see what we got here. All right. One end of it. On your necklace, we're going to send it through. On that split ring opener. Twist it around until you hear that click. There it go. I heard it right there. I heard it right there. Okay. Our other end of it, we want another split ring closure on the other end. Let's get that split ring. Everybody know what I know talking about split ring, right? Okay. That's your split ring right there. That's a nine millimeter at that. Okay. Let's get our split ring opener. Okay, we got that. And we need a fastener for it. I got a fastener right here. That is called a lobster claw. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our, our chain on it first, on the split ring. And then we're going to take our lobster claw and we're going to put it right behind it on that same split ring and we're going to twist it around until we hear that click we hear that click you know we in business there it go right there all right all right now we just made our wooden bead necklace let's see how it look on on one of our models here What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> How that look? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That's it right there. All right. Now, I, I love that. I, I love doing it. I, 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 love, I love doing it. <laughs> hey, we, we had a good time here. I loved it. I hope you loved it just as, as well as I did. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to have something else for you there. And tomorrow, it may be just as good as today was. Y'all look at all my videos. Subscribe to them. I love the feedback. And thank you. Have a nice day.